Welcome to Electra Online. Congruency is not just for triangles, it can be for any shaped figure. Here we have two figures, each has four sides, each have four angles, and they tell us that the two figures are congruent, and this is how they write that. DEFG is congruent to QRST. Now they're asking us to find X and Y, so we need to find corresponding sides. So if they are congruent, that means that all four corresponding sides have equal length and all four corresponding angles have an equal angular measure. So notice here that uh, this is a smaller side over here, being eight feet, corresponding to this side right here, but they don't tell us what the length is over here. And here the longer side is 12 feet, and here they tell us that the corresponding side over there is 2x minus 4 feet, which means that those two must have the same size or the same length, therefore we can conclude that 2x minus 4 must equal 12. From that we can solve for x, we can say that 2x is equal to 12 plus 4, or 2x is equal to 16, or x is equal to 8. Now we can also see that these two are corresponding angles. If that's true, then we can also write that 6y plus x must equal 68 degrees. And so here, we already saw for x equal 8 in the previous equation here, so now we can write that 6y plus 8 is equal to 68. We can now move the 8 across, so we have 6y is equal to 68 minus 8, or 6y is equal to 60, and dividing both sides by 6, we get y is equal to 10. So here you can see that based on congruency, we can find that x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 10. So here you can see that congruency is not just for triangles. However, the rules for triangles are very particular. So now we're going to go back to some triangles and congruency to see how we can use those special rules on triangles to solve for specific problems. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that.